Okay. Welcome. I am Ranger Vivina, and this is one of my alternate characters, Marion. She is a Yukiona, that is a snow woman, um, a spirit from the frozen north, the, the ghost of a woman who died a tragic death. Uh, and this is the Shrine of Fuchsia. And this is one of the deities of Dark Ages. I have a little notepad here that kind of like goes over his wheelhouse, as it were. Definitely like the god of rogues with the swiftness uh, and the deception. He's also known for silence, but that's not really, I would say, like a wheelhouse. So I'm going to go ahead and start mass, and I'll make some commentaries as we go.
that was weird. Um, yeah, so I was trying to get, maybe I just wasn't typing incorrectly, uh, Blue Sky to aid me, because she is a Theoshock Priest. I just checked. Um... What is this? Oh, just uh, accolades to the gods. I'll go ahead and be sure to dump that in the altar later. Um, so one thing I've definitely really noticed about coming back. Hold on a second. I'm having a hard time reaching the person because of that. Alright, yeah, I'm, that's exactly what I did. I spelled her name wrong. I forgot the E at the end of Sky. So, no bugs here or anything that's broken. Just my own full-hearted mistakes. Uh, so, kind of like, I guess what I wanted to touch on here is the fact that everywhere I go, there is so much just laying around on the ground and I get it like our inventories are very small not everyone wants to have like four or five bank accounts like I do just to hold all the things they hoard uh, but I felt that it was like something that was poignant and relatable to Marta uh, modern, modern dark ages uh, Okay, so I'm praying so I can get my faith back, um, and Blue Sky is helping me. So what you do is you do Fiash Prayer, and then you're going to do Fellowship with an Azling. This will give you more, the most experience and the most faith. And you can see by the blue swirls, which means I have divine faith. Uh, blue Sky with an E, don't forget. <laughs> uh... But, yeah, everyone has, like, a macro sort of version. You can put text in on your skills. Um, and then any bank NPC or mundane, you can go up and you can say, How many gold bars have I? And they'll tell you aloud. So everyone can see. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, everyone can see how much gold bar you have. And people, I think, like... I don't have any, but it, it does definitely seem like it's kind of like a bragging thing. Something that everyone is definitely like, how many gold bars do I have? Oh, I have 105, or I have 150. And then imagine like each of those characters that's spread out up to. I kind of keep all my like big gold in one character, uh, my main character, Vivina. And then whenever my other characters need something, I'll buy it with her or give them the money they need by transferring it with like an alt. Uh, so yeah, so Beashad, I kind of touched on it a little bit in the mass as you would have read. Uh, he was cast out of a soda. He's like one of the older gods, uh, kind of like with Diok. Um,
and it's not, I think it's exactly clear what he did. I'll have to go and look through some of the legends. I tried to find my old Theo fables. I used to, I'm going to find them, <laughs> and then I'm going to publish them. I want to make a, a blog post for that, but... He was cast out of a soda and wandered on his own in the wastelands. And through the his wanderings, I think personally, like that's when he realized like the value in material things and the value in in gold and in wealth um, because when you have nothing uh, you can tend to then come to covet and be envious and I think that's why we see a little bit of a darker side with Theo um, you know with touching on the deception so he's probably not you know too ashamed to lie to get ahead in the game and silent so he knows when to keep his mouth shut so he's not going to go around like bragging about all of his accomplishments and i i think that's where uh someone who wanted to get creative with you could kind of delve into some fan base lore into these accolades or adventures of theo and these things that he may be a part of or have been behind, but has kind of kept his mouth quiet about it. In fact, there is, I can't remember the name of the NPC in Recession. Um, but I think that he had said something about that. I'm probably going to have to find that and post that uh, in a future video and add that to the Fuchsia Mass channel. So the general, in that poem, um, I was kind of rewriting a little bit on the fly. It was an old poem that I'd used before uh, for Theo, but like I wrote that so long ago and it was absolutely trash. So I had to do some hot minute hot fixes to not absolutely hate it. Um, so yeah. I think that's all I have for this video. I'm gonna get a little bit, I'm a little rusty on masks because it has been like six years, but this is something I'm gonna be doing every Wednesday, 9 p.m. I'll be having a sheep fear shot on masks and I should wrap that up in about 30 to 40 minutes. That way there will be plenty of time for the people that wanna go to the Glioka mass that's gonna happen after by Marissa. So again, uh, thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or any particular aspects of Fioshad that you would like me to talk on more, then please, you know, make a comment below and I'll work that into one of my masses. Follow me on Twitter at Ranger Ravinia. Sorry, Ranger Ravina. And uh, you can also, I have a Facebook page, Megalopolis Gaming. You can check out some of my videos and exploits there. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you in the next video.